Welcome to Cook's Corner, where today we are joined by Liz Barber of the Creative Feast. She's already at work here, folks. I know. I Liz, know. Uh, tell us what you're doing today. Well, today we're actually going to be working with fiddleheads. Hmm. So this is their time of year. This is an early spring plant. It's like um, uh, asparagus, ramps, which are wild leeks. Hmm. So this is the time that you want to be enjoying them because they're being harvested fresh. Hmm. And what's the flavor like? Is it a well, that's a good question. They really, they're a lot like an asparagus, hmm. actually. Um, but I find the thing is, is that many of us are not familiar with working with them. These are ferns that have not unfurled. Mm. Okay, so they look like the top of a violin. You know how it kind of curls around like that. Fiddlehead. Right. <laughs> so here's the key about working with fiddleheads. First of all, you have to blanch them in boiling water mm. because there's almost like a. Um, like a brown fuzz that is wrapped up in that fiddlehead. And if you blanch them, and you can see here, you see all the stuff that's left over? Mm -hmm. It's not dirt, it is that frond. Hmm. So you blanch them, that goes away. Okay, you leave that behind. Yep. You can run them under cold water so they don't over get too hot. Now here I've just got butter, garlic, now remember, these are partially cooked now. Okay. Right, because you boiled them already. Right. So now we're just going to saute them up. I'm going to lower my heat. That was a little too high. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. You know, but I did want to get my garlic going and my butter. Um, you could do this with um, olive oil if you like. Mm -hmm. Saute them up. Um, it should take about two to three minutes. Okay. And then you can serve them, you know, just as you would with an asparagus or other green vegetables. Do they give you any kind of indicator that they're done? Does anything kind of, uh, what's, what are you looking for? They won't unfurl. Okay. okay. So don't wait so for it. Don't <laughs> wait for it. Um, but they'll soften up and, you know, take a little taste. Mm -hmm. um, finish with salt and pepper. You can also, um, these would be wonderful with like um, soy sauce or sesame oil or something like mm. that, too. Do you like to add in any special spices or flavors here, or do you like to do it just straight up? I think the when garlic you, is great, huh? the simpler you do it, the mm -hmm. better. Then you're really going to taste uh, the vegetable itself. Mm. So, but it's a wonderful side dish. It's something that a lot of people have never tried before, but the key is blanch it first and then saute it. Where am I going to find fiddleheads right now? Should I be going out and looking for them myself in the forest, or uh, should I try and find them? No, <laughs> I, I, you wouldn't find them at this okay, point, because right, they're yeah. all on furl. So yeah. I would go to, um, I know Market Basket is carrying them, yeah. Low Farm and Hollis is carrying them, you can go to Whole Foods. I mean, the, most stores now are carrying them. Mm -hmm. um, these are the ones that I've been into recently and seen them. So, right. yeah, so they're readily available. They're more and more people are enjoying the fiddlehead. And if we want to learn more from you, uh, mm -hmm. you do classes, you do instruction. Yep. Tell us what yep. kind of things we yep. can do. Uh, I do cooking demonstrations. I can do this kind of fun thing at your home for a party, so that's great. But you can go to my website, thecreativefeast.com. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, well, these will be done soon, and luckily I'll get to taste them, and hopefully you can try them at home. Liz Barber, thank you very much for your time. Thank the you. Creative Feast. Great. We'll be right back.